Okay, everyone, welcome back to Excel Moments, and this is Victor Momo. Okay, in this video, I just want to continue on the files function. I described in the previous video that the files function allows you to get a list of files in a certain folder or directory. Simple, you just create a defined name, which references, of course, a particular cell where you have your file part or folder part, and then you use the files function to retrieve the files in that part, which is really what we've done here. But I want to extend this and say, okay, what if I wanted to rename all the files in a particular directory? There are times you want to do that. Maybe from year to year, you want to rename all the files from 2020, if they have a 2020 prefix to 2021. For example, if there are like 100, 200 of them, you don't want to do that manually. So that's really what I'm going to do in this video. So let's take this as the old names of the files and let me then say new name here, just put new name. For the new name, I just want to concatenate, append 2021, let's say 2021 to all of them. Okay, you know this is a spilled range, so I can say B5 and use the spill operator hash so that it takes all the other cells in that spilled range, okay? And these are the new the new name so let me just put an s here okay but now to use the vba function which i want to use which is just really one line of code technically we need the fully qualified part meaning the folder part and the file name so what i'm going to do here is just to say folder part and file let me say old <laughs> an old file name then here i'm going to do let's just copy this and then change this to new okay all right so this is the folder part here. What I've just done is just to extract from whatever I put here because I could do so many funky things in this cell, but just to make sure that what I am getting here is strictly, you know, the file part, uh, the folder part, right? So I'm just going to take that folder part, which is this cell. I'm going to make it absolute F4 and concatenate it with the old name, for example. Put the hash for the spill operator. Okay, so now you can see this includes what the folder part and the file name then for the new it's just taking you know the same folder part because it's in the same folder and then concatenating it with what the new names would be put your spill operator okay so what i'm saying here is essentially i'm going to rename whatever i have in column d as column e that's all i want to do uh let's see i'm not really a fan of colors but we'll just put something there okay yeah, so now I'm going to go into VBA and let's see how this is going to work. So Alt F11 would open the Visual Basic Editor. This is not a VBA class, so it's going to be fast. Insert a module. You're going to type in your code in the module. Alt India Mic. So Alt I M. Now you have to start with a name for your um, subroutine. I can call this rename files. Okay. I need to have a variable to loop from row to row so that for each row, it looks at the old name and then it can change it to the new name. So I could call that variable, you know, i. You can make it an integer, but the integers are limited to 32,767 or 768 in um, VBA. So if you think that you're going to have more files than that, <laughs> then you might use long, which goes to as much as 2 billion. Okay, so we are going to be looping from row to row, right? Now, the question is, okay, we're going to start from row 5, which is the first row of data, but where are we going to end? You want to make this dynamic in such a way that if somebody puts a different folder part here, you know, um, and they, they have like 20 or 30 files, this will still work. So you don't have code the last row. What we do to get the last row is we go all the way to the bottom of the cell, right, to the end of that um, column, and we press control up. Control up will bring you back to where you need to be. So that's really what I'm going to simulate in VBA. Go to the end, control up to come back. Okay, so let's go in back to the VBA and then just do that. So I'm going to loop from row to row. So from row five, I'm going to loop to, in that column D, I go to the bottom, of that column which is rows.count rows.count tells you how many you know rows you have in that column which for 0365 is 1048576 so it goes to the bottom and then from there i press control up that's the end and you choose the direction end excel up that's you know i want to from there do a control up that's what this means and whatever row i land on that's the row i'm interested in okay then next i the i is you know, <laughs> it's optional. You can use next and it's going to work. So what I'm going to use here is just the name function. I'm just going to say name whatever I have in column D as column E. So name 
whatever I have in column D. So D and I, if I is 5, it will be D5. When I become 6, D6, D7, that's just what is going to happen. So name what I have in what? D as what? What I have in E. That's all. It's just that line, really. Okay? The dot value is just to fully qualify it. So name whatever I have in D as E. Note it. Name whatever I have in D as E. So what it's going to do is going to look for the files that have those file names in D. Check wherever they are and rename them to whatever you have in E. So let me show you the folder first of all so that you can see that we have the names exactly as we have them without the 2021 appended. So we are just going to run this code once and just click the play button. So once you click play, that's done. Let's go back to the folder and we should have, you see, 2021 listed for all of them. Okay, so that's really how it works. Very simple. So if you then come back here and you retrieve the list of uh, files, now you can see that the file names, the old names actually now have what, 2021 in them. So what if I wanted to totally take out the 2021, you know, maybe take it back to how it used to be. It just means that from these old names in my new names, I need to just get rid of 2021 underscore. I could do something like that, right? Okay, or I could say if there are five characters, pick everything from the right except five characters. That's one way. So you could do right and say uh, B5 hash, right, everything. Then take the length, whatever the length is of B5 hash, okay, and subtract five from it. Let that be the new name. Okay, let's see. So you can see now, so our old name has 2021. Our new name will now have what? nothing just the raw names so let me go back to vba and rerun it so what should happen when i rerun is that this whole 2021 underscore should clear and we should be back to what we had initially so press play and let's check the folder again okay so you can see that we are back so it's really really easy so you just have a list of the files irrespective of the extension whatever you can even from here change all the extensions if i want to change all the dot mp3s to maybe dot wmvs whatever i can do all of that just with excel and with a simple line of code so that's what i thought to share in this video if you like this video hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments and like i always say if you can think it excel can do it so for now I'm out.